I was definitely green when I passed it. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching this video. How are you doing, are you right? Today is Thursday and uh, we are on our way to a hot box. If you don't know what a hot box is, basically it's a, it's a council's um, yard normally and you, uh, you basically tip into a big giant green metal box which keeps the tarmac hot. And um, in this case we're going to Swindon Council, Swindon Borough Council's hot box. So we, t we dump 20 tonnes in their hot box and then they keep that then for a few days and they go out and fill, on, fill in all the potholes in their little vans and stuff. So if you ever wonder where councils get their tarmac from in their little vans, it comes from us. Not always, but normally. Anyway, so I had someone mention on my videos that it would be nice to see a bit more of the driving on the way to the job. Um, so that's what I'm doing. We're about 13... 13 minutes away from where we need to be so um, I'm just going to drive there for the next 13 minutes and talk to you if you don't mind is that all right yeah I'm glad <laughs> so yeah we've got a 20 ton of tarmac we're taking it to Swindon Borough's hot box which is in Cheney Manor in Swindon now the only way we can get to well it's not the only way that the, the quickest way to get to Cheney Manor Swindon is this way I wouldn't say these roads are tight but they are not very good when there's two trucks passing, put it that way. You've got to go quite slow around these corners because some parts are narrow, like this bridge, and um, I don't want to hit anybody. I always say to myself, I don't go slow because I can't go fast. I go slow because other cars are going, going fast. If I go slow, it means there's more chance we can both stop before impacting each other. Because these next two corners are blind. You've got to go slow around them. Because if you meet a bus or another lorry, which do comes around here, then um, you're going to have an incident. So I need to take up his space. just to get around that bend. And then this is another sharp bend. I don't think you'll be able to see it on the um, GoPro, but there's like white lines in the middle of the road. Cars cut across that white line. I need to take the outside perimeter of the line. And then this bridge here is not big enough for me and a car. So yeah, you gotta go slow around those corners. It's not tight, it's just uh, not big enough, which I've heard before. <laughs> Right, I actually used to live just around the corner from here, Lidded Millicent, and then I moved to my current village. See, there's another lorry behind me now. So, on the table today, we have got to do this Swindon run. Got to go back to Quick Laid. Not Quick Laid, as someone said. Someone said it sounded a bit like Quick Laid, as in quick as in fast and laid, which he, th he thought would be a good name for a tarmac company, which I agree, quick laid, that would be good. No, crick laid, crick laid we're going back to. Uh, and we need to take some tarmac to Kingswood, which is near Bristol. And then, rather than going to a Bristol quarry, we need to come all the way back to crick laid again to um, take a load to Stonehouse, which is somewhere by the M5. So we've got three runs on the table today. In this video you should see three drops, if everything goes to plan. Maybe more, if, uh, if I get them done quickly. So, um, <clears throat> Saturday I went to Truckfest in Newbury. I saw a couple of you, well, I saw quite a few of you actually. A few guys, a few of you come and said hello. Some of you uh, I noticed recognised me but didn't actually come up to me. I saw. I saw you, little boys, when when you were watching um, what's it called, Jesse and um, 
you know, the ice road truckers, I can't think of the name, Kelly, is it Kelly? Yeah, anyway, I saw you, uh, you're looking up at me, recognising me, then sort of telling your brother or your mate, that's Luke seeing a HTV, then he looked, I did see it. You could have said hello though, come and say hello next time. And um, to the other boy as well, we were watching the monster truck and I, just, I was stood up next to him, which was watching the monster truck. And he goes, excuse me, can I, uh, can I take a photo with you? <laughs> and I was like, what, me? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. So I had my photo taken with a little boy. It's really nice knowing that you guys watch my videos, so thanks, thanks for that. Um, the weather on Saturday wasn't fantastic. It was supposed to be really nice weather, really hot. I was in shorts and t-shirts, so was my mate Craig. We went together and um, it near enough started raining. I mean, it didn't rain, but it bloody could have done. It was quite chilly as well. Which is not ideal. We were freezing our boobies off. That was definitely green when I passed it. <coughs> right. Um, I don't know if I should tell you this. I'll tell you anyway. It might not happen. Bear that in mind. I was contacted by a, uh, a lady a few days ago um, claiming to be from TomTom. Tom. You know, the company who issues sat Tom TomTom. Um, and she wanted to ask my permission if, um, if she could put my name forward to receive a promotion from TomTom, Tom, whereby they pay me to do a video on their newest sat nav, which is TomTom Tom Go Professional 6200. And I was like, hell yeah, yeah, I'll do that. If you want to, you know, you don't need to pay me, but I'll do it anyway. And um, so we've, we've exchanged a few details and I've been selected, supposedly, and in the next few weeks, a couple of weeks rather, I should receive this this TomTom. Tom. I'm a little bit like dubious as to whether or not it's real or not, but hopefully it is. But um, long story short, Tom Tom are going to pay me to do an advert, well not an advert, uh, pay me to do a, um, a review on the latest Tom Tom. Uh, I've, I've, I've fully disclosed, disclosed how much, they're paying me £80, I think it's actually more like £85. They're paying me €100, Euros, so obviously you've got to translate that into pounds. Um, what is he doing? Is he going to let me through? He is. Yeah, so they're going to pay me 100 euros to do this review on this uh, new TomTom. Tom. It's called the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6200. It's worth £350, this TomTom. Tom. Um, once I've done the review, I keep the TomTom. Tom. It's my TomTom. Tom. So they're basically paying me to do a review and they're giving me a free TomTom Tom, um, to, to, to keep, basically. Now, I've already got the TomTom Tom, um, Trucker 6000, which is this one here. And... Um, this, this new one that the TomTom Tom are going to give me uh, is basically the uh, replacement version of it. So I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison video, things like that, so it should be cool, quite cool. But it doesn't stop there. Not only are TomTom going to give me a free TomTom, -tom, they are going to give me two more TomToms to give away to my viewers, which are you guys. Interesting story, by the way, before we carry on. Down there, we're tarmac and that road. Not today, but we will be. We have done as well. Last week, in fact. Anyway, yeah. So back to Tom Tom. So um, if this if this is all like happening, I'm going to receive a free Tom Tom. I'm going to do a couple of videos regarding the Tom Tom, uh, and two of you guys are going to get a free Tom Tom worth 350 quid. So uh, watch this space. If if it is true, and it's not a spam, uh, a scam rather, then uh, it could be a good little giveaway. It'd be a bloody good giveaway, wouldn't it? Actually. I mean, I'm excited to get one, so I'm sure you lot will be as well. Right, we're just around the corner now from where we need to be. What's happening here? They seem to know me. They put their hands up. Right, so we're turning right here.
And then it's just at the end of this road, you might see that smoke bellowing out. Um, this is essentially um, like where all the this is where all the bin lorries are kept as well. So this is where they sort of recycle all their stuff. So sometimes it smells a bit in here. It's not a very nice place to be sometimes. It smells a bit. But it's, it's the local it's Swindon Borough Council. This is where most of their vehicles are kept. Right, let's put my beacons on. So we're now in their yard. I'm now off a public road, so I'm taking my seatbelt off. Because I gotta do some maneuvering. <coughs> yeah, this stinks. Stinks in here today. Makes me want to puke sometimes. Now there is a vehicle where I need to be. So I don't know whether they're going to move out the way for me or not. Oh, they're gone now. They must have saw me. So when this lorry goes, goes out of the way, it's the green box. So we've got to reverse into that green box there. I haven't got a lot of room to manoeuvre, so I'm just cross-trend. Let all these vehicles through and I can straighten up a little bit. Till it's open. A lot of beeping going on. Whenever someone beeps, you automatically stop and sort of have a look, see if it's about you, but it doesn't appear like it is. So, yeah, we're here now. So, what we're going to do is uh, tip here and then we'll, uh, we'll continue. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are now loaded with our second load of tarmac and we're heading towards Bristol now. Uh, paperwork says 36 miles, that now is saying 42 miles, so it's not 100% correct, but um, I'm pretty sure when they work out their mileage they just use Google Maps and we can't take Google Maps roads because sometimes they take you down roads that we're not allowed to go down, like weight limits. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, so we're going to a place called um, Kingswood. Uh, more specifically, Mororian Road, BS15 8LZ. So, um, yes, that's the road we're doing. We've been given a special map as well. We, this particular job is with a company called Southwest Servicing, 
they always issue you a map. So I don't know if you can see that, but um, it basically tells you which way to go in. Now, on that, I am coming in from that roundabout, and then on there it says turn right, when my sat nav is saying turn left, so it's going to be one of those things where I'm like, left, right, left, right, which way do I need to go down when we get there? But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Just over an hour's drive there, so uh, let's crack on. I'll see you guys when we get there. Right, so we're nearly here now. We are just over a mile away. Let's get around this van. Actually, we're under a mile away now. Uh, we've got to go up this road and then at the roundabout turn right. So as I mentioned before we left, you're not completely straight. As I mentioned before we left, um, or as we were leaving rather, the map is saying I need to turn round, I need to go round the roundabout and then turn right at crossroads. But my sat nav is saying turn left at the crossroads. So which one do I go on? Well, the answer is simple. We go on the map. The map that was given to you. So when I get there, I mean I will look to the left to see what's down there, but I should be going right. But we'll cross that path in a couple of minutes. So we're in Kingswood. I looked at the paperwork on the way here as well and I realised that I'm actually the last load. Um, which is surprising because I'm pretty sure other people were coming up as well. Which can only mean that I'm the last one delivering this type of tarmac, someone else is delivering another type of tarmac. You've got base and toppings. So, uh, yeah. I've got 10 mil. Beautiful weather today. Really nice sunny. Really nice and sunny. Why does this ring about? This place rings about. I think I bought my car from up here somewhere. I also think, when I was younger, I had an interview up here. I can't remember what the interview was for. It was a company car that was included. It was something to do with IT. Going around checking IT systems. Yeah, I've definitely been down this road. Right, we're nearly here now. Just around the corner. Better stop at that light. Nice little homeless shelter there. Okay, so we've got to go round here. There are cars behind me. Go round here, turn right at the roundabout. Is there any road close signs? Not that I can see. Oh yeah, I can see now. Beacons on. Now we want to go right. Yeah. Go 
reverse on in. Right, so uh, I need to go and check where I need to be, and uh, I'll be back ASAP. That rhymed as well. <laughs> Right, that's it. We're done there. We um, we had 20 ton on, and they only used five ton, and going back with 15 ton on. I had two tips. <laughs> Never mind. On our way back now. Got to sort out of driving time and stuff. Uh, I've done two hours driving, so I've got plenty left. Plenty of driving time left. Go straight back to Quick Laid and um, tip this and then get loaded with some more stuff. That's the plan. But yeah, that was a very quick job. Took me an hour and ten minutes to get here. It's going to take me an hour and ten minutes to get back. So two hour 20 minutes round trip I was only here for 15 minutes never mind never mind right um, so yeah I'll, uh, I'll see you again when we're actually on our way to our, our third job and probably final job see you in a bit right hello guys so we uh, we went back to quick laid we tipped off our remaining tarmac and we've been reloaded with fresh stuff and we're now on our way to a place called stone house we're actually going to postcode GL103RN they've called it Olden's Lane anything with a lane in it is never normally very good or nice to get a lorry down so um, yeah I Google Google mapped it almost straight away it doesn't look too bad I mean I'm not I'm not saying it's like fucking draw carriageway or anything but uh, it um, it does look quite tight a little bit so you know we're waiting till we get there I'm not gonna worry about it situation we've got is that um, for those of you who don't know every six hours you need to have a 15 minute break every six hours of working it doesn't include just driving that includes being at work so I started work this morning at seven o'clock um, which means by one o'clock I need to have at least a 15 minute break problem is if I drive straight there I'm gonna get there for about one o'clock and I haven't had a break so Put that with the fact that I've got no lunch with me today. It's simple, isn't it? Let's pull into a shop on the way, have a 15 minute break, get some lunch, and then continue driving. So that's what I'm going to do. Just coming off here, I'm going to go to uh, my local garage, because I live somewhere down there in a village. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, going to pull in. Hopefully there's room for me to park up. Whack it on brake straight away, go get some lunch, and uh, come back, and then it'll be time to go again. And we'll go straight there that's the plan and then when we do get there obviously I'm gonna be vlogging because it looks like it could be interesting if I put the postcode in my sat nav it tells me to go in one way if I put the postcode into my phone it tells me to go around the other way so um, when we get there it could be that I go in the wrong entrance but that's We'll uh, cross that again when we get there. It's one of those things where you have to wait until you get there and you sort of judge it for yourself last minute. So in a second, we will be getting back onto the A417 that way. But for now, we're just gonna come off, just pop down here a second to this co-op shop and get some food and have a 15 minute break. If I don't have this break and I continue driving there, and I'll be breaking the law, so uh, don't want to do that. At the same time, I don't like having my brake while I'm loaded. The fact there's lorries parked up here means it could be busy. Now I can park up there. This car behind me though is going to get a bit of a surprise when I stop. Yep, 
yep, as I thought, doesn't think, just continues driving. Oh, I've got very close to that lorry there. Right, so, engine off. Put you on break. So uh, yeah, 15 minute break and then we'll be off. Set timer for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes and counting. Thank you very much. Right, so um, see you soon. Right, so we're just getting off the M5 now. We're gonna go on to the A419. We're gonna go left down here and then <coughs> it shouldn't be too far down the road. Hopefully we can find it first time. I was just looking at that, um, the van that was over there, parked up. Because it was almost like they were looking at me. My paperwork does say A419 Oldham's Lane. Looks like there's a truck stop down here. Or something. Limited waiting. Guess that means you can't park there overnight then, in these lay boys. So yeah, there's a roundabout coming up. We needed to be, uh, needed to be turning right at this roundabout. When we actually get there, Jesus. Yeah, turn right at the roundabout and then turn left down what could be a dodgy tight lane. We'll certainly find out. So yeah, as I was saying earlier about um, this Tom Tom promotion, keep an eye out for those videos. If if it is if it is true and they are actually going to be sending me out the Tom Tom, and uh, I do the review on him, then uh, two of you guys could be winning a 350 quid Tom Tom, which is fantastic. So keep watching my videos because I'll be mentioning it come the time. Keep filming, gonna keep filming, but hopefully I've cut this for you so that uh, you haven't got to wait with me. Right, we're finally at the roundabout. And uh, there's a lorry driver behind me who just beat his on. I think he knows me. <laughs> he put his thumb up. Right, so we're going around the roundabout. going down here. Well, that doesn't look good. So that's taken me into some sort of building, um, posh house of the state.
Eastlington Park. I just don't think that's where I'm supposed to be. I don't think I'm supposed to go down there. There are tire marks on the floor. Ah. Oh. Wanna go in the other way? Right, my thinking is, the reason why there was so much traffic there was because there's roadworks or something, and roadworks is what I want. So I now need to turn around, go back up to that roundabout and go in the other way. The way my phone was telling me to go in. I need to turn around. Luckily, these two lorry drivers know what I want to do and have let me do such a thing. Whew. Both of them knew what I wanted to do, so that's good. Hazards are off. Right, I just need to remember what that's called because I might need to phone up in a second and ask. There are tyre marks going in, East Lington, East Lington Park. East Lington Park. Got my beacons on so let me turn them off. See, there's a lot of traffic down here. I'm just wondering if it's because people are doing roadworks. So, how do I get there from this side? Not first, second right should take me in. So that guy that beats me, he was driving a lorry, and then he put his thumb up. Either he knows me from doing these vlogs, or he knows that I need to go where he's going. And he's beeped me because I was indicating right. I don't know. Who knows? What I do know is I've got to go up here. But well, hopefully go up here. And turn right, go over a little river. But hopefully I can go over. I'm not fully loaded, I only weigh 22 tonne at the moment. I'm only half loaded. Normally I weigh 32 tonne. Can't remember what that place is called now. Eastington Park, wasn't it, or something? I, need, I might need to make a phone call and just double check. 
I'll try this way if I can't get in again or, I, or if I think it looks a bit dodgy I won't do it the reason I didn't go in that way is because it looked like it, it just looked too clean do you know what I mean like a lorry shouldn't go down there big white walls I'm going to make a boys fall asleep there big white walls and sort of yeah I just didn't think I needed to go down there now we can see a sign here saying roadworks The company we need to go to is Amy, A-M-E-Y. Now the problem with Amy is that they have loads of subcontractors who work for them, on behalf of them. So you sort of, you get there, they might not even be Amy guys and they might be for you, but you don't know that, you've got to stop and ask. I guess we'll find out. The good news is there's a lay-by there for me to have my break in when I finish and a canal. Which means it'll be a canal that I'm driving over. Not a river. So you've got traffic control ahead. I can't see it yet, it looks like it's quite far down, which is in line with where I need to turn right. So I think <laughs> I think all this traffic was because of me, basically, because they're waiting for me. It's bringing the tarmac in so they can open, lay the tarmac and open the roads. So if you come down the A419 by Stonehouse and you're stuck in this traffic and you watch my vlogs, it's because of me. It's because they're waiting for me. <laughs> We've got to turn right in 600 yards. I think. So normally, Normally I would cut this sort of stuff, the waiting around. But some of you have said you like it, so if you if you enjoy waiting, sitting in traffic, then good news. That's what we're doing right now. Camera. Dead end out there. Turn right on 500 yards. Yeah, it looks like where these traffic lights are. Not that I can see them yet, but where all the traffic is. That looks like where I need to be. So when I get there, hazards on, beacons on, try and get someone's attention and be like, oi, where do I need to be? <laughs> definitely think that this is the right way to go in and not the other way. Turn the aircon on. It's quite hot. Oh, 
right, here we go. Is there a guy down there? So we're looking for a paver or a roller, something like that, to indicate that that's where I need to be. That guy saw me, that's good. Got to find a space big enough to get in. This one will do. <laughs> Silly. Always <Always> going one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you right? So you, I don't know whether you saw that, but uh, as I come in here, the car behind me did as well. I've got my hazards on and beacons on, and the car followed me into here. So I had to stop quickly and put my hand out and tell her to stop. I don't think I'm going to be here too long as well, so that's quite good. Right, so, we're here, uh, I'd like to think that my expertise, look, because like, we went around the other way first, didn't we, and I sort of looked at it and it just didn't look right, so my experience sort of come in handy there, and I was like, it just don't look like I need to go down there, so I turned around, I knew there was a second way into this place, and I knew there was traffic, and I just put two or two together, it's roadworks. He spotted me, or matey boy spotted me over there. So yeah, it looks like I'm in the right place. I do need to just double check I am in the right place because it could be someone else. There's no one wearing any Amy equipment, like I said, even though that's who is supposed to be doing this job. Um, no one is wearing any Amy equipment. And like I said, they subcontract, so it's probably one of their guys. And, um, yeah, so at least we're here. Put my flaps up now, so I can tip safely without ripping my flaps off, and uh, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, so that's it for the two day. We have tipped there. Um, I was only there about an hour or so. Um, I didn't think I was going to be there that long, to be honest with, me, uh, with you, but uh, never, never mind. We're on our way back to the yard now. Should be there at 20 past three. However, I need half an hour break. Um, I'm four hours, 13 minutes drive-in and I've only had a 15 minute break today. Which is typical. <laughs> so I've got to stop and have half an hour break on the way. And within the next 15 minutes. To make things worse, I've got a tarmac on me. I've got about a ton on me still. Uh, so I've shifted it all to the back end. Uh, and how I do that, so you close the tailgate, put your locking pins in and then just lift the tailgate, uh, tail all the way up the tail of the body all the way up and then all the tar might just slides down to the back um, so it's not led evenly across the floor because if it's led evenly across the floor that means it's going to all get stuck and it's going to require a lot of effort to uh, get it out whereas if it's just hard on the back at least it's all in a relatively small area but um yeah so we're on our way back now i also just had a phone call from my dad's mate who's known me since you know i was five years old Jabber, if you're watching, hello. Just advised me on a possible job opportunity. Um, which, not gonna lie, I would fucking love to work for them. So, leaves me in a bit of an awkward situation because I've already got something lined up for the end of this month. 
towards the end of this month I've lost this job I've got something lined up there's a possible job opportunity going I need to find out ASAP what's happening so I can give everybody a plenty of notice so yeah bit of bit of a shock to the system that this job opportunity might be available only might but I would love it I would absolutely love it it's class one work so um, that's all I can really say at the moment but um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing and all that. Uh, if you haven't liked me on my Facebook page, go ahead. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash Luke in a HTV. I've only got 1,000 uh, likes on there or so, and I've got 10,000 subscribers on here. So not all of you have liked my Facebook page. So that's fine. If you don't want to, that's fine. It's fair enough. But there are loads of behind-the-scenes pictures, videos, and just all that sort of stuff. So yeah, go ahead and do that, facebook.com forward slash Luke C in a HCV. Thanks for watching, and until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.